This week in Social Studies, we're going to be learning about free enterprise system. The U.S. is a free enterprise system. That means that we, people, get to spend our own money in the way we want. We also get to pursue any type of job, work, or career that we want. We make the choices. We decide what we spend on, how we save, where we live, and where we work. It's nice that the government allows us to make our own choice, but sometimes decision-making can be very difficult. There are many economic choices that we make every day. An economic choice is deciding what you want and what you will have to give up in order to get your first choice. When we make an economic choice, well, that's something that we give up is actually called an opportunity cost. What you give up to get something that you want more. Let's take a look at an example of an opportunity cost. Let's just say that Saturday morning you have a decision to make. You really want to sleep in, but you also really want to play basketball with your friends early morning. Which do you want to do the most? These are your economic choices. Say you choose that you want to play basketball. That means giving up sleeping in late. Well, sleeping in late is the opportunity cost of playing basketball. Your future is important. And because we live in a free enterprise system, you get to make that economic choice. What do you want to be when you grow up? What kind of income does that job bring in? How would you spend your income? Would you save it? Where would you live? In a mansion or in a cottage? These are the economic choices that you will be making in the future. Let's take a look at this book titled Alexander Who Used to Be Rich Last Sunday. Hmm. I wonder what this story is going to be about. I bet Alexander made some choices, and he doesn't look like he's very happy with the choices he makes. Let's see what type of choices did he make. It wasn't fair that my brother Anthony has two dollars and three quarters and one dime and seven nickels and 18 pennies. It isn't fair that my brother Nicholas has one dollar and two quarters and five dimes and five nickels and three pennies. It isn't fair because what I've got is two bus tokens. And most of the time, what I've mostly got is bus tokens. And even when I'm very rich, I know that pretty soon what I'll have is bus tokens. I know because I used to be rich. Last Sunday. Last Sunday, Grandma Betty and Grandpa came to visit me from New Jersey. They brought blocks because my father likes to eat locks. They brought plants because my mother likes to grow plants. They brought a dollar for me and a dollar for Nick and a dollar for Anthony because Mom says it isn't nice to say this. We like money a lot, especially me. I wonder what he's going to do with that dollar. Nick said to take the dollar and bury it in the garden, and in a week, a dollar tree would grow. Ha, ha, ha. Mom said if I really want to buy a walkie-talkie, save my money. Saving money is so hard. Why do you think Alex feels that saving money is so hard? Because last Sunday, when I used to be rich, I went to Pearson's Drugstore and got bubble gum. And after the gum stopped tasting good, I got more gum. And after that gum stopped tasting good, I got more gum. And even though I told my friend David I'd sell him all the gum in my mouth for a nickel, he still wouldn't buy it. Goodbye, 50, 15 cents. Last Sunday, when I used to be rich, I bet that I could hold my breath till 300. Anthony won. I bet that I could jump from the top of the stoop and land on my feet. Nikki won. Hmm. Is Alexander making the right choices? 
I bet that I could hide this purple marble in my hand and my mom would never guess which hand I was hiding it in. I didn't know that moms made children pay. Goodbye, another 15 cents. I absolutely was saving my money. I positively was saving my money. Except that Eddie called me up and said that he would rent his snake for an hour. I always wanted to rent his snake for an hour. Hmm. I don't know. Alexander sure is making some choices. Do you think they're the right choices? Anthony said, when I'm 99, I still won't have enough for a walkie-talkie. Nick said, I'm too dumb to be let loose. My father said that there are certain words a boy can never say no matter how ratty and mean his brothers are being. My father fined me five cents each for saying them. Goodbye, dime. <sighs> Last Sunday, I used to be rich. By accident, I flushed three cents down the toilet. A nickel fell through a crack when I walked on my hands. I tried to get it out, but I couldn't. Goodbye, knife, and my mother's scissors. I tried to make a tooth fall out. I could put it under my pillow and get a quarter. No loose tooth. I looked in Pearson's telephone booth for nickels and dimes that people sometimes forget. No one forgot. Looks like he's regretting spending his money, huh? Last Sunday, when I used to be rich, I used to have a dollar. I do not have a dollar anymore. I got this dopey deck of cards. I've got this one-eyed bear. I got this melted candle. And some bus tokens. Alexander made the economic choice of spending his money instead of saving his money. Let's take a look at this graphic organizer called a decision tree. It's going to help us decide if Alexander made the right choice. You can also use this tree when you have choices to make and can't decide which one would be the most important. Should Alexander had saved his money? Hmm, that's a decision that we're going to decide. Well, choice one is, yeah, he should have the choice to spend on anything he wanted to spend. Let's say he made a good choice of renting a snake. And the second choice is maybe he should have saved his money for a walkie-talkie. For renting a snake, what was a good thing about it? Hmm, yeah, I guess he always wanted to rent a snake, right? But the bad thing is that it was only for an hour and it seemed like he really wanted the walkie-talkie a lot more. If he would have stuck to saving his money for a walkie-talkie, the good thing is that he really wanted them, and it seems like he's been thinking about it a lot, seeing that his mother reminded him about it. The bad thing is that he has to wait and wait and wait to build up that money, right? to save it, and it seems like he didn't have the patience to do that. Now that we completed both choices, the good and the bad of each choice, let's compare both. Which is a better choice? Should he have spent his money on renting a snake? Or maybe saving his money for a walkie-talkie? I think that he should have saved his money for the walkie-talkie. All the choices he made seemed to be a waste of his money. I think that he could have made a better choice by saving his money because that seemed that, like it was more important to him having a walkie-talkie. Remember, we live in a free enterprise system. This is why Alexander got to choose to spend his money on how he wanted to. Having our own choice is a great thing. We get to spend our money 
on the way we want to, and we get to pursue any type of job or work we enjoy. This week's assignment in social studies, you will be creating a decision tree, except based on this scenario. Your friend was the only one who didn't have money to buy a popsicle on your field trip. As you were running to buy yours, you notice another student drop money. This student is not too friendly. What should you do and why? Create a decision tree with two choices. Write a good thing and bad thing for each choice. Compare each choice and decide what you should do. Be sure to explain why you made that choice.